Yeah. Well, that, that is a bit much. That, that's it. I was suggesting adding a, a hole or a slot. So if we pre-drill a hole or a slot in there to give it a little room to float, we should eliminate the cracking. The other issue that was causing a lot of rework on showers was the silicone cracking on the bottom. We've eliminated the silicone, so that's no longer reworking set showers. <laughs> and then the other one was a lack of support for the shower pan which we've addressed. So we've engineered out a lot of the rework issues. We still have the quality of crack. It's because it's no overlapping because it's vacuum formed, right? So you have to live with generous radius. Right? So if we can inject the mold, all of that's gone. Yeah. But it's not possible. And they, on Deepen, they you buy showers like this on Deepen, by the way. Exactly the same. You did pick one up to Yeah, we were, yeah it's the same, right? Clear but the, the no, bump out for, no, the, for the. Uh, actually, they they have a pretty good system where it's all overlapping, so the water can. Yeah. Uh, let's see if they it's actually vacuum form. require no cocking. I don't know if they're vacuum form, but I don't know. Might be injection mode. Hold on, hold on. They require no cocking, they recommend it. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Yeah. move walls on the house you might need some locating feature that would be extremely helpful like a cone shape locating oh, pins so. Is that to to you see, you see how the engine's going so oh yeah a cone feature yeah, yeah. So yeah. Cone yeah. Engines, drop it to a just cone like that. yeah uh, for robotic assembly here? yeah for sure because if you have put in walls yeah. robotically yeah. it's kind of like oh my god how you yeah. It's already That'd be even difficult helpful anyways. even for manual. Yeah, yeah. any time it will be oh, helpful. Yeah. Um, today, I know it's added uh, part, but I think it's, it's, it's going to set us up for that automated yeah. automation better. Yeah. And the big walls and all yeah. that, right? You yeah. just drop it in, it gets looked at for you in the same spot all the time. Like everything. Yeah, one, one thing we do immediately is we'll start pre drilling the shower. That should cut down the crack in the front of it. So do the thing. Yeah. Slot them, basically. Yeah, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll Jeff put together. It should be in a jig. Okay. We'll get a, uh, we'll get a, we'll just get a drawing put together about a whole size and location. This should okay. be in a jig, so not, I mean, the guy should just be random. That's what, so we'll, yeah, so we'll do a whole size, whole size, whole size, and then we'll just roll drop. So, okay. so what did Sandy, Sandy made a really good point. He's like, don't design for robotics, design for like one arm bob or something. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Really safe for bob. Yeah, it blind only fits in some blind one arm. Yeah, it only something. can fit in that way, right? Yeah. It just yeah. Blind can't one mess arm it guy. up. You don't have to align it, go a little left and right. Yeah. No. no, he's right. What's good here is good for that as well. Well, this is the big one. And it takes. So that's the thing. That's that's part of the truth. So let's say you're installing a cabinet. You know when your cabinet is done, right? I put in these four bolts and I'm done. Cleaning. I mean, you could spend all day on one window if you wanted to, right? Um, you could spend all day, like if you you know if you got nicked over there one day, you know the next day you're going to be focused on this corner, make sure. Okay, well now your nick is over here. So it's kind of like this elusive task, if you will. So it's a non-standard task. So that's part of the challenge is... Um, well, job one is we didn't get that in the first place, right? Yeah. So that's, that's, that's kind of what I meant. Like if we're, right now, right? Yeah, let's, so if we're playing fingerprints off of cabinets and walls, right. and we, we can do, do something about that. Right? We can wear gloves. We can, like, there's stuff we can do to stop doing that. You know, when they deliver a car, you know, you don't sit on the leather seat. It's got a cover on it. I think when we do our own cabinets or supply from cabinets, we should all be covered in film. 
You know, I don't mean the kind of film that's trapped behind something yeah. and you can't get off it. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, like, it should all be covered in film. Yeah. And then you just wipe down the film yeah. and good to go. But, you know, it's one step at a time. I mean, the dust needs to we have in the cabinets right now is from the modifications we're doing to the cabinets. So we're yeah, it's making, messing up Nixon. Making, uh, so yeah, but, like, so <coughs> but they should still be cleaned out. Are we cleaning them over there, though? Like, there's just dust and sawdust in the cabinets, and they should be cleaned at the cabinets. Yeah. I and mean, you're not cleaning them at the unit, right? Yeah. I bet you they're not cleaning them over there. That's what I mean. Like, if, they're, so if, they're, if you're cutting stuff in the sawdust, so like, you grab this whole thing and shake it clean. across the house yeah. and dump it on the floor. Yeah. So, you now it's filthy. Right. Yeah, little smudges, dust, you know, a lot of that is, is going to be there, right? We're cutting stuff, we're, it's just... Sure, sure. But my point is, if we're creating sawdust from there, just clean sawdust over there before it comes over here. Yeah, right. so I know we're going to have this tomorrow. Sure. But, uh, we spoke about it briefly, but are we quantifying tasks yet? We got kind of a quantified... Uh, we'll to see that on a spreadsheet and yeah. see what so people so, time hog is. Yeah, yeah. Come, come over here for us. The huddle meetings that the teams, yeah. small groups have, right? So this is. Uh, uh, Josiah, why don't you go ahead and explain this? Station 456, go yeah. ahead. Yeah. Alright, so we go over all the key metrics safety, we have EHS tickets, how many proactive tickets have submitted, quality, we have unresolved QA tickets, so anytime a station goes, travels, a unit travels to the next station without something on the NTR being addressed, they get a ding for that. Movement time is probably the most important metric to track. We track, obviously our target is four hours, so we track how many hours it was in each station for. All right, so yeah, you okay. see the, the trends. Mm -hmm. Station four, five, yeah. six. So we started it, they were nine hours, average mm -hmm. for the week, right? And they're all trending down. And they're trending down because Will and Josiah, they're breaking down the standard tasks mm -hmm. by operator. Do you have a sheet here? I didn't bring it with me. Okay, let's put one in the presentation tomorrow. To show operator one, this is what you do. Operator two, this is what you. They are not two minute level yet, yeah. but they are within ten minute levels, right, or five, and and then obviously the trend needs to go down, yeah. right? Was so, the electric shock equipment coming yet? The what? <laughs> so the, the the big the big issue process wise right now, this is you know is. It's all the out of process work when showers break, walls don't fit. Yeah. Um, that's what like yeah. okay, you'll be hitting, you'll be going along okay. You're about three and a half hours. Also, the walls don't fit. Now it's seven hours. You're yeah. taking this thing apart or electrical issues in the wall. That's really what makes it difficult. If if we one time right on a car assembly plant to your point, there's you don't do any of that. No, you don't ever shim or yeah. add things or what it clips right. together. So. That's what makes it like hard yeah, to really know the true they, time of things. Everything goes right, and they don't have a bunch of rework. Because a bunch of issues come up, they right. can hit their target. So the the key thing is to find the root causes for those because if we have a one minute line, it's gonna slow everything oh, down. Yeah, to, you know, <laughs> so that's obviously very really important. Yeah. Okay. Well, right. So yeah, that's so good. Judging by my math, I put we're spending about thousand dollars per unit on. Quick. That's insane. So just, you know. Oh, first cost, that's completely insane. When you take into labor for two stations that are pretty much solely dedicated to cost. That's, that's, yeah, I guess kind of your point too. So, so what are we cleaning and why are we cleaning? Yeah, and, and that's, what we're doing. yeah, a little. Let, let's walk through yeah. station five. <laughs> All right, so we're cleaning this. And this is something we started doing about two months ago. We started starting to start to Coming through, looking for dirt in the cabinet, no dirt. I don't think we're even looking at caulking at this point. No, not in not the bathroom. Yeah, we're not looking at caulking in the bathroom. We are shower picture not being flushed. That's really what hits the fail. But as far as when this, we're wiping down the shower, putting our little caulk me stickers in. Cleaning out the inside of the cabinets and then just taking off the countertops and cabinets. It shouldn't be more than 15. I don't, know, I don't know why it's happening in the first place. Why are we, why are we we're doing it? Right? Are the cabinets filthy every time we're installing them? There's dirt, smudges, yes. yeah, little dings. And so, how is it getting introduced? They're not filthy, but there's some debris in it. There will always be some level of that. Even the car plant, there's always, there, it's dirty. 
there's a lot of. You just don't see it. Too. They clean it before it goes. And then, like, even if they clean them out really the good grand. there, when you go to, I mean, they're not spending the grand. It, they sort of pick yeah. it up inside. Uh, yeah. No, we can manage yeah. our expectations. Like, if we're willing to accept a little bit of dust, just accept a little bit of dust and save the the detailed cleaning of inside the box. Um, there is a big difference between a little bit of dust and a lot of dust. Yeah. Yeah. But it's, we just need to make sure we know what that standard I think, is. So, so, so when we say we're spending a lot of time, we're supposed to do like a 15, 30 minute cleaning station here. Then we just get the cleaning done that we're doing in 30 minutes and call it a day. Yeah. That's and basically not, what Golly said. And, and I agree just with know. Yeah. Just give it a quick wipe. Give it as good you as you possibly can. Just, give it yeah. a time. Just put a yeah. time limit on it yeah. and say, ready, set, go. Yeah. And, and that's it. a tiny little thing. I mean, we're going to unfold the house we're gonna muck things up we're gonna sand yeah yeah and then there's a final clean yeah, it's right? gonna, i think so that's a good balance. it's gonna get dirty just from sitting think, in the parking lot. i think that's the right balance the give them 30 minutes give time. everything you got yeah, see how it goes it. allow a lot see of time like. yeah yeah also I mean, if something is consistently dirty then we focus on cleaning that yeah. particular right. thing within that 30 minutes also right? should we be cleaning at multiple stations we used to do all the cleaning at station 10. The only way we get here is the final third, sealing the stuff off. So we have to clean what we're going to seal off. Otherwise, we're yeah. sealing up dirt. Yeah. Um, now, I would like to get my quality people here. I, we were talking about this a couple weeks ago. Have them clean for 30 minutes, tell them hands off, and then walk in and look at what it looks like. Yeah. I want my quality people with you when you do that so they know what to look for. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be very hard to explain to them what standard we're looking for. How many man hours are we cleaning right now? Total man hours. Do we even know? I think it's 32. How much? Four hours times four people. But not sixteen times two stations. That's so to be four hours cleaning each. Okay, that's I mean, not the case. Sometimes they take more longer. You got the caulking and all that. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. Can we break down. Yeah, but it's a lot. But it's insane. It's an insane thing. Yeah. When Jalay, my quality inspector, was our cleaning lady at the end, she took no more than an hour to clean the entire unit, all the way to station ten, and they passed. Every time, first of all. Why don't we get it's it's getting someone dedicated when you actually make that look easy. So why don't we do this? Let's do this as a baseline. Let's take a clean. I'm serious. These people are professional cleaners. That's all they do is clean. Why don't we get our cleaning people to clean the office, take one station and say clean it, and then videotape it, see how they clean, how long it takes. They're cleaning people. Yeah. I don't know, my cleaning lady does a really good job. It's done paper. I think Terrence even has a degree in What? Our custodian, Terrence, actually has a degree it's, in it. It's, it's one of those things that's... Uh, just to explain kind of the issue because it's it's, it's it's hard to, to, to be like what do you it's what do you mean you're taking four hours to clean but that is the problem is you it's not four things that you can count it could be over here one day it could be over there so what they do is you know now they're looking for every square inch oh you know well it's you know, two guys might wipe the same thing twice you know they're doing, they're doing <laughs> you know? a good job yeah right they're doing a good job that worker is doing a good job yeah and it's up to us right. to say, okay, this is the amount of time, this is the level yeah. of cleaning, the thing's gonna get cleaned by when it gets unpacked, it's gonna make a mess, like you say, and it's gonna get cleaned final yeah. time. I mean, I saw the ones at the uh, Speedway, they were beautiful, yeah. they were beautiful. I don't think we just unpacked them. I think we went in and cleaned them, right? And yeah. it looked really, really nice. It smelled nice too, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> how, how, how's the shit smell? So, another thing too, so while, while we're doing this caulking, you shouldn't talk any trip. There's no need for that. Um, I'd, like, I'd like to say to not do that for the next unit. See what it looks like. So we should the next unit. Let's not it's caulk. Not, it's not traditionally done. I'd like to look at it. Yeah, we don't caulk. We do the cleaning of 30 and, and minutes, and then we take a look together. You know. Well, what he's saying, it's gonna. I don't, we need to look yeah. at I don't know how it's going to look. You've never seen uh, So they do it a lot for energy sealing and stuff. It's not necessary for us. Um, I mean, that looks and, nice. Uh, yeah, that it looks, looks, it looks nice, but it takes forever. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's really difficult to do. It's something that doesn't matter. That's why I think we're going to try it and see what it looks like. Because like, that basically is designed for the short, with the short top. When it gets hooked on, it should just yeah. be a clean. No caulking at all, right? I mean, well, the idea is to get rid of the caulking, but it looks like that.
Uh, I think field installs, maybe. I don't know. Retail solution. No way. No way you can ask customers to call. No way. No, no, no. No call. Us or the customer. Okay. Know, well, as long as it looks good. Yes, yeah, yeah. Well, we should have seen the an engineer, engineer that to look cool. Or fit it, actually. Just yeah. fit it. Mm -hmm. We put like something. So, so that that piece of trim is shaped oh, like sweet. so that, that piece of trim so you have your toe screw guy here right there's your wall this piece of trim comes up like this right comes up like that um, it comes to a point past the wall and then comes back and then hooks to the trim here right so you should have a sharp point where it meets the wall and it should be pushing it as they hook it onto that toe screw Right, so there should be a point. I mean, it's actually like a flat, but it's it's like a fake point. It's like a ten percent over, mm -hmm. so that when you hook it on, it makes a clean seam. Right. Is, the, is the theory? It's supposed to be doing that. It's not doing that. It's designed. Yeah. That oh. is another way, though. <coughs> so that's PVC. PVC, in terms of durometer, goes from ultra rigid, rigid, rigid to something that feels like rubber. Right. Okay. So we can code through that with, with a bead on top that is so ridiculously soft. It acts like caulking, and then you push it in. Yeah, that's what so I was So it's a co-extruded PVC extrusion, hard durometer for the baseboard, and ultra, ultra soft on, that's, that's, on the That's edge. how it's designed to look. Was, was, was it looks great. That's what I mean. Like it's, as long as the wall's straight. Well, right well, now I only have it loosely on one It's hooked one every foot every to, to the wall to keep it touched to the wall as long as it goes. I'd well, argue. The wall can do this. I, that start. looks great. I'd argue that looks better. That's, that's what I, I mean. Like that's, that's what it was it is off a little bit. That looks great. That looks better. I like that. So, sorry. It is off a little bit high. Yeah. Well, I, I don't. Yeah, but it needs to kind of average stuff out across a couple of pieces. But like that's that's how it's supposed to It does to look go. good. Mm -hmm. okay. That's the kind of thing we got to do. Get rid of all the all the tradesmen. Yeah. 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 I mean, I, I I think a really significant portion of caulking we can remove, and not because we're pushing on the customer. I mean, remove entirely. Yeah. Well, I'd like to see one. I'd like to see one. I think the window trim to the window we're going to have to cock, but the outside of the window trim should be able to not cock. The, outs the outside what window. Do you need? No, that, that, so inside the unit, you have your piece of L that's on the wall, and then you have to close against the window. That we're going to have to cock. There's, there's always that flex. But on the inside, when you have your window, you'll need to cock between the trim and the window. Yes. But, but not, not out here. here. Yeah, not yeah, out yeah out that's what I'm saying. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Could you make those boxes out of injection molded pieces? The boxes have changed the design. So now, now it's now it's an angle piece, so it's not a box anymore, and it just sits up. Okay. And, I don't think, and we're gonna do a less than 45 degree heel, so you have a sharp point. It's a okay. construction trick. And you don't you don't have an issue with gaps yeah. and, and no caulking. There's, caulking There's so many ways there. we could do that. You yeah. could also leave a purposeful reveal. If we wanted to, which is a different idea, you just leave a purposeful reveal. You just snap it on; it's done. I mean, the labor on that is nuts. Yes. Yeah. So, so the new design, nuts. the new design though, just goes like that. Yeah. Okay. Even even then, just making that one piece eliminates so much. Yeah. yeah. Just on we yeah. eliminate most of the material. It's that's great. Right. Yeah. That's awesome. So, so, so that's happening. I think it'll look better. And then these these areas is not forty five degree cuts; they're forty degree cuts. So you get a five degree. Yeah. So you get a sharp point, no matter what the wall and ceiling you're doing. Yeah. You have a sharp point. Because okay. the wood just kind of flexes just a little bit as you nail the thing up. Yeah. Stuff. So, so that, that, that's happening with the 2.0 cabinet. Almost like a crown moment. Basically a crown moment. Yeah, hide, so hiding your lines have you yeah. have. Yeah. yeah. Color helps too. You see the dark top against the white background. Super crisp. Yeah. Cool. yeah. So color helps. But we don't have an opportunity to do color. And we mostly want to do white on white because it's all super neutral. Unfortunately, we have to clock these because it's a water issue. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but are we, are we using clear silicone? This, yeah. You're using silicone. Silicone. I wouldn't mind seeing if it looks like clear. Silicone. Silicone. If, it looks, if it looks like shit or not. Because it's easier to do clear than it is white. Right? Because the white shows up way yeah, sure. easier than the yeah. white. Yeah. And you got the tube right there. You might as well just keep going. That's so what itself yeah. is harder to work with. Yeah, it is. Yeah. I'm worried. I'm worried the silicone. If you do clear it here, you're gonna see a shiny spot on the wall. That's also true. That's also true. Is there such a thing as matte clear silicone? Yeah. They have white silicone. I don't know. I'm getting like a little bit. I think, I think you might be into the material. Mac, Mac, yeah. Matt. 
Clear silicon. Silicon that has no sheen. Yeah. Clear silicon with no sheen. Yeah. I feel like if when it comes to that, we lose any pieces. If you can think of it, it exists somewhere. <laughs> It'd be great to, <laughs> to, to kind of get an Excel or a bar graph or something where you just see all the time saves and like attack those first because they're the nails that are sticking up. And just like, because maybe in engineering, we're not like, oh yeah, they'll just do that. <clears throat> but then just do that. It's like, how long? Yes. Yeah. But we're not aware oh, yeah. that it's a problem. But, but, like, but like even, even that is like an example. Like we never designed or called out to silicon the baseboard no. to that because when I came out here with the first few units and I snapped the baseboard, I was like, perfect. This yeah. is awesome. Uh, and then I went away for 12 yeah. months and, then they and said everybody it. started caulking everything. Yeah. And I was no, like, no. I'm a carpenter <laughs> and I caulk my yeah, trim. Yeah, I'm a carpenter That's and I caulk trim. You know? Yeah. 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 All right. well, fair enough. <laughs> so, yeah, why, why don't we go to the end and look at uh, that you did in that 10. See if there's any other yeah. any, any other things like that. I just want to see by time because a lot of these tasks are invisible so they don't know that these have a problem yeah that's how we get uh, too much more time yeah. and I also can follow there are 170 open receivers and the changes are open for yeah. so Let's put this unit in. I gotta wait for you, I'll be right back. Um, yeah, so they definitely don't need to be doing clocking on the very side. Like, you know how you can tell they don't need to be doing clocking? Because it's the tiniest amount of clocking I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> not so the interior window trim, we can, we'll, we'll so try on that. You have to do the window to trim? Yeah, this, no? this here. You have to do that. What about yeah. inside mine? There you go. Justin's always got the tools. Yeah, I got say cool that. stuff. I would say nice. Because yeah, those are never going to be perfect. They'll do those. Yeah. So we're talking about. This looks really nice. I have yeah, this, style. this right here, Justin. You so we, we have to do this, yeah. obviously. Well, we don't not have to. This. this and inside. Let's do it tomorrow. Like outside. Yeah. No. I'm perfectly fine with that. Just make sure that I we let our inspectors know. Yeah, I'll talk to one in our meeting. Uh, the door frame. I mean, this is clean. Oh yeah, oh, this is the chip. I, I mean, oh, it's clean. Main, 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 main here. It better be yeah, it better be down <laughs> one inch at a time for fingerprints on the outside of the door frame. That is the level they're getting to with taking five. That's that's, 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 that's probably like it's so. That's well, you should be doing that in the cabinets, right? And then put in the cabinets in plastic, and then you know, there's this exactly. Like, no, the main thing I can't remember. You know. If it's a fingerprint, it's I think it's an easy fix. Fix. Yeah, it's a so I think it's just like that. Yeah. Five and give them a time. Yeah, time. I don't care about it. They're just trying to do the best job they can. Yeah, yeah. You know? Exactly. And I'm, I'm always having to tell somebody to do a little bit less detail. <laughs> what about, you know, just easier to get the next area we're going to want to conquer, right? Huh? I see that. This X, if that was an engineered reveal, yeah. I'm all over it. That's what, it's, that's what we're trying to do. If this was I, an I can't engineer, really do it here. This is supposed to be an engineered block, but they do. Our, the press, this panel and that panel are both by an eighth of an inch. Yeah. Like, I know that. Yeah. So we can never get a tight, tight no. line, even if it was revealed, which it kind of is. You have skinny, fat skin no, because man. the panels are... But I'm telling you, you know, what's in here, like, this has just been thrown together, it's not been finished. You know, you know, this big old X is almost geographic, it's architectural. And if that was an engineered reveal and it was perfect, like, do the line. That's good news because it's 2.0 of this. <laughs> well, so far, we have a reveal. That's what happened. If we, could get, if we could get on the grid, which we can't, I think I'd be good with all the reveals. And then it would really be automotive. Slap it the fuck down. That's how the first gen ones were. Oh. Ones we had made in Canada. They had they had the reveal lines everywhere. Did they? Yeah. Yeah, they had like a grid. Yeah. Reveal lines. And the thing is, if somebody doesn't like it, they can always. Oh, it's it's it's, 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 setup is not it's, a, it's a blank canvas. I mean, this is nothing, burger. But uh, yeah, and we're we're going more modern anyway. 
you know, we're not going to try and spread the needle. We're going to, how clean, how simple can we make, how featureless can we make everything? And then it's just calm and peaceful yeah. and nice. We are always going to have on-site muddy and coffee with these things. Mm -hmm. So we might as well... With this design as well. Yes. We can go to that design. The thing that worries me is, is but if we do have we given after it's set up for a while, it just keeps coming back. So like the unit out there, it's the back yeah, just got just, just, just will settle over time. Yeah. Yeah. There's one reason why we need uh, trade material. Yeah. Mm -hmm. like, like the putty you're looking at. And what about the, uh, a flat piece of trim? The design is going to be great. Is this still in Geo? Yes. Yeah, that's it. So we're going to be still walking around. So this, this design is limited. Yeah. There's nothing I can Like the 2.0 is, yeah. is, is a prime so solid. Nice. All these changes are so nice. Yeah. And the lights, look at the lights, are much nicer they are than the prototypes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the orange lights have gone nicer. And the plastic is all good, you know, wrap it up. Well, oh, just by the way, I did lower door tests on Saturday, too. They're in the same setup as Walker, and I picked it up and it performed spectacularly. Better than I've ever done. Wait, which, uh, what? Two, two of the units outside the lower door tests. So it's how much, how much air is escaping. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's, we're, we're phenomenal. Good. good. That's, good. That's great. So it's good to know that we're actually set up in the field. Yeah, the last couple of times it's rained. I've gone out there and checked them. There's not. We had not a car piece there. There's nothing in there. I did. Yeah. 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 That's cute. But I love the daddy <laughs> off it and made sure Frank was like, oh, oh, can be daddy. <laughs> <laughs> I got a dirty shoe to hold it. Frank's on the bikini. The way it's in shock <laughs> for you. Yeah. I couldn't bring myself to put it out. Yeah. It's like it's one step it's, too far. It got it through. It got it through. through. <laughs> that is like, yeah, I can't stick that. It's all going to be a pretty, pretty house. Yeah. I mean, you, you really are getting the house this time. Yeah. I mean, you know. <laughs> A real significant part of the issue too is, is the, the designs and the equipment we're currently yeah. 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 putting in a bunch of defects. So. Yeah, that's exciting. And supply chain. You know, that's another point that we need to. The cabinets, like they're doing the best they can. Yeah, the cabinet quality is so cool. You wouldn't feel really good after we're in here. Go look at the three in the back. <laughs> No, oh, the oh windows, the cleaner it is, the way, like that fixed window is so nice, it's so clean. Yeah. Cool. All right, what else? Are we done? Yeah, I mean, I, those I, things I, I think are a good starting point. I would say on the coffee and yeah. trim, to do a unit, we'll take a look, but I, I do not think you'll need to do any coffee on the exterior. So when trim meets MGO, as a rule, you should not have to coffee. Okay, that's a good, that's gonna make a big difference. I will implement so that so tomorrow when, and when trim, take a look. Yeah, when trim meets trim or trim meets a window or yeah. door, you'll probably still have to off. Yeah. But like or, or, exterior, or an exterior when it meets Or exterior, yeah. yeah. But, but trim to MGO should not have to pop that. Okay. So that'll take that'll take down, you know, a hundred feet of off. Do you say you're limiting the cock down the window to the seal? No. Oh. Not <laughs> not the <laughs> not the issue. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a feature. This yes. Is this white door. Yeah, I'll start that tomorrow and then we can take a look. Yeah, this looks great. Oh my gosh. I'm sick of those <laughs> white doors. Are you probably going to burn out on that? Well, I'm blaming Kyle on that. Oh. No, no, no. It was me. That's a nice door. It's a great door. I remember there was a couple of calls where she didn't have anything to bitch about, so they only think she bitched about the orange doors. Yeah, just like, there's no one complaining about it except the orange doors. I think. You know, we should make no, that was a good line, the, That's line the doors and fill my weights. Mm -hmm. I'm kidding. I mean, I mean, I'm not kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, I'm not kidding. Not I'm not kidding. kidding. Just, yeah. The weight of a door is for Mercedes, right? Fishing contest doors? I'm oh, not, I'm not looking at you because you're generating. Uh, <laughs> yeah, right. hey, so, so the lower door test guy. So we're looking at one of the units outside, and he opened the door, and the handle just smashed into the fringe, and he's like, you don't have anything to stop that? And I was like, that's a good point. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what you can do? We need, we need a door stop. Because yeah. it runs right into yeah, the yeah, fridge. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. what the refrigerator yeah, 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 yeah. so stops it. Yeah, it's, it's a really, place. really stressed aim stuff. Mm -hmm. Maybe we could put a door stop on the fridge. They have little 90 degree things that mount onto the hinge. Oh, yeah. Just use yeah. two on the right hand. Okay. They, yeah. they have yeah. things that go on the Yeah, that's what I was going to do right here. The wind catches it. 
Oh yeah. I wonder if you could just put it on the box. Put it on the box. How far? How close is it to the fridge? I'd stick it on the fridge. I don't want to do it. No, I'll put it on the door. I, yeah, but that is I, I, don't, I don't think, I, I can hear your point about stressing the head, but I don't think it's yeah. an issue for a walker. Well, they sell a lot of them. Do they have a magnetic bumper we can put on the side of the fridge? They can also put two on. Two on top, one on bottom. Yeah, the little rubber bumper they put on the wall. Can we just get a magnetic one and put it on the fridge? No, I don't think so. I don't know, just put one the on the only thing, because we don't technically install the fridge here. I think it would have to go on the door. So can we do that then? We do on the spring, can you come the door? On the spring? One spring? Spring, what, the spring ones? Well, no, what's one in the door? No, 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 the spring bumpers. The ones you have. Oh. Yeah. Um, flexible ones? Yeah, I don't yeah. know what you're talking about when you're a little kid. And you're, yeah, yeah, I like usually yeah. put it on the wall. Yeah, I prefer the 90 degree ones. It's a little bit cleaner. Yeah, like the yeah. 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 we'll, we'll get a couple different ones. The door stops. I do like curb feelers. That's a good point. So we got a bunch of casitas with like door shaped things. Yeah, the door handles are printed in the fridge. Yeah, yeah. So like we were so busy building a house at Folds, we didn't quite think about the door stop. All right. Yeah. 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 Well, it's on the list now. <laughs> yeah. Right. But we got one. Great, thanks guys. Yeah. Appreciate yeah. your. Uh, yeah. So we're gonna make a test, you and Yeah. No. And then we visit. No, we have them on the Have you seen those? We have new boxes.